um, a bit of a review look at this new uh, Switzer 300C that's come out on the flight, Microsoft Flights and Marketplace um, by um, Lumith Designs. Overall, I had it. I downloaded it last night for a quick look, and um, yeah, it's really good detail to the model itself. Like if you can just see here, we'll just pan around so you can see the the amount of work that's gone into this. Um, there's a little bit of a glitch, which I haven't figured out what's doing it. The um, passenger there it looks a little bit screwed up, and the cockpit there is off to the side. Um, other than that, everything's absolutely awesome with this. Um, I had a play with it and I've got to say of every helicopter I've flown so far in Microsoft flights um, this would be the most fun and the most realistic that compared to sort of what the X-plane physics were like. I know the Council ones are pretty good but this is sort of like a next level so um, I really hope that um, the Snemith Designs has a go at like a huge 500D or something just to put some competition out there because this, their physics are, are basically set a new bar, a new standard for how helicopters are and Microsoft flights them. So um, we'll jump in and we'll put it through its paces. Like it's just a heck, a heck of a lot of fun playing with this thing. Right, um, we'll jump in and we'll get going. Right, here we are sitting in the helicopter now. Um, we've had a few issues before and I think I may have found a bug with it. Um, it just seemed to be, I shut it down, because obviously when you when you first load it, it seems to have the engines running. So I shut it down in desktop view and then switched to VR and went to start recording and um, I had no engine audio and I just tried that like five times and it didn't, um, it just seems to be a, if you shut the engines down and then switch to VR and try and start them at the, like the start, but there's just no engine sound. Like you can hear the rest of the sounds on the simulator, you hear the fuel pumps, etc., but no engine sounds. Whereas if you, you jump in VR with the engines running, it seems to stay working, so that's maybe something they need to look at. Other than that, um, we'll, we'll get fired up and get going, so it's an awesome little helicopter to play with. It's very realistic, so it's very tricky. Um, Governor's off. Everything's there. Yep, that's in. So right, we'll just start winding up. It's got really good sounds, like really good. Switching through the different audio files for the different RPM settings. I don't want to mess this up. This is extremely uh, tricky to fly. Compared to anything else in Microsoft Flight Simulator, anyway, and it's a lot more realistic in that sense. I don't want to mess this up too majorly. So this is uh, the field on helicopters uh, base that I'm just working on updating for um, the field on scenery pack. I don't have very many photos of it. Um, I did get sent some yesterday or the day before that will help make it a little bit better. Got another guy coming back down here and landing. this time. Alright, this up, let's get out of here. Yeah, I haven't had much practice, but I had a little play with it last night, and um, it just seemed to be a lot more challenging and a lot more 
uh, rewarding to try and nail manoeuvres with it and very nimble. It would be very cool if they do a 500D or something because I think it would uh, set a new standard for uh, physics and Microsoft flights. And I've seen a lot of negative reviews about this online where um, people think it's just all over the place and it's too hard to control but it's kind of what helicopters are at the end of the day. Just got to be very light on the stick, not too aggressive. I will try an auto rotation just because I, I did quite a few of them last night. Just, um, they weren't pretty, but it does actually do them as opposed to some of the other ones. And the fact that it's um, a piston engine with uh, the way Microsoft works at the moment, you can use the throttle, map the uh, throttle to a, uh, a twist grip or whatever you've got to. Um, uh, roll it off when you're ready to do a, uh, a more, more auto. Right, we'll, uh, we'll try. Get a bit of, a bit of height. Right, let's roll the throttle off. set up big time. The RPM probably didn't drop as much as it should have. Maybe I've changed the weight to get rid of the person get it. the other ones that aren't probably quite there yet with the physics. So you thought the, I thought the other ones were actually pretty good until I flew this one and then I realised like, how much better this is. for a little bit just to see what it's like. If you let it start oscillating too much here, yeah, it'll get away on you quite quick. You've got to be real gentle on the uh, cyclic with this. Right, we'll um, take off this way and we'll keep coming back. We'll try and land on this little uh, grass patch just in this corner here where those little dry bits of dirt are between the uh, vineyard here and the road. Really waking this guy up if he's asleep. that want something a bit more challenging and that want something a bit more realistic than what's currently on offer really. This is, yeah, I think I've seen it several times now, it sets a new standard in uh, Microsoft Flights and um, Physics, which 
which you wouldn't which you wouldn't expect any less from someone like Nemeth Designs who made excellent helicopters in the past. Their attention to detail is just outstanding, my goodness. Try and do some a bit more uh, holing on the stick by uh, doing some hard, sort of almost agricultural style turns just to see how uh, nimble it actually is. The visibility in this is just absolutely awesome down here in the amongst the trees. This is definitely sort of the closest uh, helicopter I've felt in the uh, Bucks of Flight Sim. Uh, that's closest to like DCS almost physics. And with the um, sort of, what do you call it, study grade ones in um, X Plane. Right, we'll go back and try and land this. run for when you're getting an angle on this, this place to come and land it. It's a little bit trickier but it gives it a bit of a challenge for the approaches in and out of it. So this will be up this week at some stage when I just finish adding the last few little bits and pieces to it. A bit rough but we got it on there. Right. I need to go and practice my autos now. Right, I'll just try a shut down here actually before we if the engine audio will play. So I've got the governor off. Turn the avionics off. Keys on. Get the start booster pumps going. Clutch is off. We'll hit the starter. Yeah, straight away. We've, we've lost um, engine sound. It's completely gone. So that's obviously it, yeah, it's clearly a bug with it, but um, I don't know what, what it's doing that for, but um, unless there is a fix for it, if any of you guys know, let me know in the comments, but yeah, if, uh, or if you have the same issue, but it definitely, once you shut it down, if you're in VR, you can't seem to get the engine sound back. Right, I um, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.